Where's me? <laughs> Got enough space? We'll see, we'll see. What's up guys? Welcome back. This is a maintenance video. So, we are going to do the R6 and the throttle body sink. I don't know what we're doing, but I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing? Just to make the bike idle a bit more smoother. And the amount of air that gets into the throttle body when it's in fully closed position. Yeah, on it's a bit, a bit complicated because you can't reach to the spaces easy. So I got the dealership to do it. So it's only on four cylinder bikes. It's on all bikes. It's on all bikes. More than one cylinder. Any but share four cylinder bike lana, we'll cool the jam down. Like it'll be out of sync. Yeah. How long does it Depends on how you ride. If it's a track bike, if it's being ridden hard, and it's better to do it every service. Okay. The throttle body out of sync lana, or like you seem to have rough idle if you're going into a corner fully closed when you open it back up there will be a sudden hit of power oh, okay okay uh, abrupt won't be power smooth. Right? yeah okay. won't be smooth yeah okay, okay. let's get into it dang it daddy on a throttle body so it's on top of the airbox it's under the airbox under the airbox yeah. so r6 in the airbox is here airbox in the deal and throttle body is here so this fairing already is here side of the fairing take the seat off take the seat off if you have a problem with the R6, you can break it. Because when you put pressure on it, you put pressure on it. When braking. So, when you tangle it, can you show where the legs go? Yeah. On the tank, that's usually your position. And when you're braking, so in order for you to not go like this, you put extra pressure here. Ah, so I'm going to have a fairing water. Yeah. So, this is the fairing. Yeah. Go say, yeah. but that's a new one, isn't it? This is a new one, yeah. So what I did with this, I put some reinforcements on here. So when you put pressure, they go here. All the oh, that's good. pressure points good. will go here. So hopefully it doesn't wreck. Sweet, good stuff. Next, remove the tank. All there. Yeah. One on here. the side. You want to do it? This one's uh, a bit... pivots there, pretty much. Yeah, but this one's a little bit more complicated because I have the steering damper. So I have to uh, remove so have the to off, hey. head stem bolt. Is it doing its job? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Haven't had head shakes and stuff. Hey, you've been the track too, yeah, after that? Yes. Yeah, that's good. For the pollen, yeah. In the power. That's it. The steering that will scrub on the, uh, the, what do you call this? The clamp. The oh, the clamp. clamp. Yeah. You put that on, yeah? yeah? Yeah. I don't know if it's a design fault or something's missing. Uh, maybe because you bought it second hand. Like yeah, it's something's missing. missing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would have shown. Uh so if you have a look, there's one. Can you see? Oh yeah 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 yeah. That's one and that's for cylinder number two. It's and all in different spots, is it? Kinda like one, two, and then three, three and four. Oh, okay. So you find those ones. Yeah. Bypass air nipples. Yeah. No, no, that's where you put the manometer and then ah, this, this... We talk about the manometers as well. Yeah, that's the screw to adjust it. I think now that one's got white paint on it. Oh, yeah, So yeah, it's yeah. better not to disturb it. Yeah. I think it's from the factory. Yeah. That's the setting we need to work with. Yeah, so sure. synchronize the other ones to match that. Right, so that is cylinder two. That's cylinder two on this one. Yeah, okay. But so it might be three in a different bike. Right, Depends. okay. So, but that is a reference cylinder. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, that's the caps. Yeah. These are okay. the caps that go on them. So if you have a look here, are you able to see it? Oh, okay. Oh, this way? Yeah, oh, okay. so that is it, isn't it? Which one? That. I can't see That's it. the nipple. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So when I tried to remove them, yeah. this roll pretty much jammed in there. That means they haven't been removed in a long ah, time. So they haven't been touched at all. Yeah. How long did you say? 25. 25. Yeah, that's kind of when we do it. Anyway, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. One of the major services when they do it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Replace spark plugs, check throttle body sync. Yeah. So, what do you So, this is what you call... Let's get away from the beers. This is what you call a manometer. So, if you Google manometer... Yeah. Yeah, you'll be able to see how it works. The homemade or not? Yeah, this is homemade. It's locked on here, guys. So nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> Spend all the time. <laughs> yeah. So what happens with this one? That the, you connect these ones to those nipples. Whichever one has high vacuum, the fluid rises higher. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. there is imbalance, yeah. all four will be at different levels. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then you, you have to just, make it all the same level, pretty much. Yeah. Basic physics. Google manometer, you'll be able to see it. I'm taking the oil and the, it's just normal engine oil. Yeah, normal engine oil. I'm not very, uh, I haven't done this many times. So I'm thinking if it gets sucked in, shut off the bike straight away. Oh, then don't okay. do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's not that bad if it gets sucked in anyway. Yeah, but not too much oil and might get, you know, the airbox to be wet and dusty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you can always remove the airbox and clean it. Yeah, in the worst case. yeah. So that's fully off. So this one has very high pressure. Yeah. This one has none. And that's second. Yes, number two. Yeah. And this one has okay, you can see. And this one has less as well. So that's cylinder one. Cylinder two is like really down, isn't it? There. Yeah. Cylinder three, where is it? Cylinder three came up to here. Yeah. It's got okay pressure, I don't think we need to. Worry about that for now. Cylinder three is a reference or is it cylinder two? I think it was cylinder two. Cylinder two was reference. Cylinder two is the one that has the lowest pressure there. Right, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll let the fluid settle down. And uh, yeah, we'll probably open the bypass screw a little bit in oh, cylinder yeah. number one. Yeah. Because it's got too much vacuum. So you're doing number four now? Uh, no, no, that's number, yeah, number four, correct, sorry. So in just a quarter of a turn. And number one? Number one, I went another half. Okay. Half out. Let's see how we go now. It's very out of balance for a warm bike as well. That's really quick too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, not on you. Clockwise, eh? Anti-clockwise. That's opening. Yeah, that's opening up. Yeah. So more air will bypass. Yeah. And vacuum is less. Yeah. Maybe another quarter. Funny guy, you take a bike with you again, but I guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Still 
the same. Yeah, it's weird. Number two hasn't changed at all. Yeah, yeah. like literally. They lose. You think? Yeah. So, so sucking in air, you reckon, maybe? Now maybe check your fittings. Like all these fittings, are they all tight? There's air coming in, man. It's air bubbles. Loose. Okay. Say this, that again. The numbers were not right. Oh my god. Is that why it was doing <laughs> this, all this? Yeah, this one was going into... Uh, this one was going into number two. Which is the cylinder you can't adjust. Right. Yeah. So that's why it kept sucking in. We kept loosening up the other ones. <laughs> and the wheels. So go back, go back to the previous setting. Yeah, yeah. So we'll yeah. Just work from here. Um, we kept, uh, yeah, bypassing more air for this one. That way it didn't come up. Yeah, that way it never comes up. Yeah, I'm not going to guys. I'm not going to do anything. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do R6, it's cheap. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Final adjustments. It's a lot better now. Yeah. Good job, good job. Thanks for the help. Moral support, I mean, you. Bike runs smoother if you do it. Yeah. yeah. Even if you don't do it, it's not a major issue. Still, better not to run it that way for a long time. Hope you guys liked it. Out of the video, guys. Take care, ciao. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>